Page 66, Angel of Music. It's from a, a musical, Phantom of the Opera. 3-4 time now for that switched. We've been getting 4-4 four, four time forever. Now we get a 3-4 time. Doesn't matter. It just means you got to count to 3 instead of counting to 4, but a quarter note still gets a count. One sharp in the key signature. We're still in the key of G major. Make sure you're doing the G major scale. One octave up and down. You just at least once a day. Let's just cover this one hand at a time to make sure the notes and the rhythms are everything fine. We get a dotted rhythm at the beginning here. One and two and three. Remember the dotted rhythms. Let's just make sure you understand them. It's so important. In this case, the quarter note comes on beat one and it takes up a whole beat. The dot comes on beat two because the quarter note takes up all beat one. So the dot comes on beat two and that's the same as an eighth note because it's half the quarter note. So you'd like a quarter note and an eighth note tied together. Have you had eighth notes yet? I hope so, because I just talked about it. I don't know. So it's one and two and. Well, there's an eighth note right there. Well, and not that's something, okay? And two and three. And that's it. They're really not complicated. They all work the same. It doesn't matter what the notes are. The dot gets half the value of the note. Dotted half notes, I told you to remember, there's the same as three quarter notes. Well, uh, half note's the same as two quarter notes, and the dot gets half of that, which is one. It doesn't matter what the time signature is, that's always the same. So here, one and two and three and one, and they want fifth finger here, and that's fine if you want. You can do four here, just but I need third finger on the F sharp to prepare for the half note. Here, I'm going to connect the melody. all it with the fingers so that's what we're doing I do a four and then a three but you can do a five if you want just make sure these half notes the lower note is only two beats don't hold it down and by the way in the second measure the sharp is in parentheses it's called a courtesy sign they're just telling you by the way remember don't forget this is sharp. It doesn't need to be there. It's an F sharp anyway. Huh? Two. Measure five. One, two, three. Now they want you to do this. No. But I want to connect all that. That all, should all be connected. So I'm going to use a, a fingering technique. I think we've done it before. It's called finger substitution. It's I'm going to play with measure six. I'm going to play with the thumb, and then immediately after that, while I'm holding it down, I'm with the second finger on it. I substitute one finger for another. I changed hand positions. This way, now the thumb is available, and I could have substituted some other finger. I could have put third finger on it. It doesn't matter. I just want the thumb available for the next note. So, measure five. One, two, three, one, two, three. If I get that anywhere else in this piece, I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm at the end of a phrase. Now it's okay, I can lift up. And the same fingering we had at the beginning. Measure 14, substitute again. Another lift up. You're not going anywhere, but lift up anyway. It's the end of a phrase. Then here, two. We changed hand positions. If you've been practicing the scale, this is easy. Because in the scale, you ought to use cross over to third finger. Well, this is only second. It's easier. Take my word for it. It's easier. And these notes here uh, may or. Page 67, second line, it's measures 22, 23. I assume you know where these notes are in the music. If not, you need to memorize them. You know middle C, measure 22, and then a B is underneath it. Memorize that. And then two ledger lines is an A. Memorize that because you're going to get it. You need to know. Then you can lift up and move again. It's the end of a phrase. And then during the rest, come up. Last line. 
Yeah, you know, so it's and then an F natural. And then I suggest you do a one, two, four for measure 31 here. I want to connect here. I want to connect that. Here. By the way, did I mention this piece is four pages long? It's page 68. And this is basically the same you had at the beginning. Now they've added a few extra notes. This is like a measure 34. We just had that. Now they've added an F sharp. So, here, but I still need third finger on the quarter note, F sharp. Substitute again. This is basically the same we had before. Now, they did put an optional there, an 8VA optional, above the measure 33 seal. That simply means if you want, that's the optional part, go up an octave. Remember an octave? It's an interval of an eighth. I don't know that we've had all that yet. It's simply letter to letter. C to C, A to A, F to F. It's the same letter. You go up. So if I'm here at this D and a B, I'm simply going to go up to the next D and a B, which is up here. So I'm just going to pretend for the right hand the middle C is up here. And I'm going to play. All the while this 8VA, the dice line goes on, you keep that up. They put the 8VA in parentheses in the second and third line, and fourth line, they don't need it. The dice line is all they need, because you're just going to stay up there for as long as that dice line is there. It means page 68 you're going to play up here. And then at the end of page 68, the last measure, it goes away. Dice line goes away, that means you're back to where it's written. Now, that AVA only applies to one staff, the staff it's next to. If it's above the staff, generally speaking, people don't agree on this, but forget them. If it's above the staff, you go up. If it's below the staff, you go down, because it can go either direction. If they want both hands to go up or down, they have to put in a note, both hands, or they got to put the AVA at both stats. So here, the left hand isn't going to move, it's only the right hand that goes up. At the bottom of page 68, you see in the upper staff a clef sign. Change, a bass clef. We're going into bass clef for page 69. So when you get to measure 49, you're all the way down here. In this position. One, and the time signature changed to 4-4. Four, four. We went from 3 4 to 4 4. They can do that. So now we got to count to 4. However, the speed of the quarter note remains the same. So the, the pulse is the same. You, you just got four of them now. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then at the end of the line, you get treble clef back, so the hand comes up here. 1, 2, and you do that. And then for the third line down, measure 55, now you get the AVA, and it's not optional this time. Do it. So you're up here. You're playing the same thing in different octaves. And then the last time, or the last line, excuse me, if your keyboard's big enough, if you have a short keyboard, you don't have the notes, just go the highest you've got. That's fine, but if you have, a, have, if you have the notes, 15 MA means two octaves up from where it's written because 8 and 8 is 15 in music. So we simply go up another one. And that last note is tied forever, so you just hold it down. Keep in mind it's only the right hand. The left hand isn't moving. Speaking of left hand, here, third finger. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is exciting. You get all these Gs. Occasionally you get quarter notes. Okay. Bottom line. This is major, the last two majors on page 66. You're here to just lift up and move. Now, if it will help, if you want to, on major, the, the measure right before the quarter notes. Here, instead of third finger, you can use little finger. This way, your hand is a little closer to where you want to be. If you're here, your hand is here, you got to come to here. If I use little finger, the hand is here, and I can come up to here. I typically do that because that way I don't have to move as far. So I would play that last G with a little finger and then come up. Two, three, one, two, rest. I'm on pain. I hope you know where I'm at. Just look.
lift up and move. Three, three, and then for the last two measures, second line, it's a B and a D sharp. Page 67, last line, you're here. Two, three, now they want an F natural, and I just stay here, I use the fourth finger, and then reach you down with the little finger. And then you can do a one, or a five, three, one. They gave you a sharp sign there, they didn't need the sharp, it's a sharp anyway, because that natural sign in measure 30 is only good for that measure. But, it's important to be clear. I don't know why they didn't put them in parentheses, I mean, you did, they got it on the upper staff too. You don't need that sharp. It's it doesn't hurt anything. It's good to have it so we know we're playing enough sharp. And at the top of page 68, you're back down like you were at the beginning. Remember the APA is only to the upper staff. The left hand the left hand stays here. Uh, page 69. You hear? And I do a two on the E flat. I just stay here and come over. You can do a one if you want, but I, I gotta have it, I because this kind of this is very common in piano. I just use two. Let's stay out here. And then at the bottom, last line. And then the last few measures. And then they got a four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. I kind of like that. This business of using repeated fingers, excuse me. Because this business of using different fingers on repeated notes, again, some people like it, some people don't, some people use them a lot, some people avoid them, whichever, but it's a good skill to have. When, I tend to use it quite a bit. Not all the time, but quite a bit. So I like this. I would encourage you to go ahead and do this. Do a four, three, two. Try and get it to where... You don't even have to look at the keyboard eventually on this. You can feel this. You're on the same key. That way, that last note has an 8VA under it. Remember I said if the 8VA is above it, you go up. If it's under it, you go down. Well, here, you're going to go down. If you have the note. If you don't have the note, play the lowest one you have. So after you get through all that, let's see if we can put the hands together. And again, I don't care about hesitating right now. We're just trying to get the hands to work together. So at the beginning, you're here and here. There's one and two. And then here. Well, this isn't too bad because the left hand isn't doing anything. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to page 67 at the top. Measure 17, you're here. Here, measure 18, that B, the left hand's playing it and the right hand needs it. So you got to get off it a little early. Because I need to connect the melody. That's more important. I know that sounds wonderful, but it's, it's, it's supposed to. Then, yeah. hand is tied here, but the left hand is not, so you're playing the left hand by holding the right hand down. Now there, measure 28, it's a quarter note in the left hand. And then here, you just got to love the sound that comes out of the instrument sometimes. It's just... And that's what's written. I didn't do it, it's their fault. And then here, Then, as you're doing this, get the left hand down to go on. And if you're going to go up an octave, get your left hand down here so you don't have to worry about it. So when you're done with this, you can lift up and move. Because the beat has to be a steady beat. So it's... And at first, if you want, just leave out that AVA optional until you're comfortable with the song. And then you can always put it in later. Well, that's up to you. Now on page 69, you're down here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. All these lines are the same except the left, the right hand is going up an octave. Get the 
the idea than the last line. You're up here. At the end, you got one note in each hand down. And so just four counts. You don't have to hold it down forever. Just four counts is fine. Once you got a handle on that, then go back and go through it and work on the tough spots and get rid of the hesitation so it is a steady beat. Nice and slow is fine, but a steady beat. Once we do that, we think about, as far as the articulation goes, it's all pretty much connected. You can follow the sentences and the words. The left hand, just connect this as best you can. So f the phrasing, well, at the beginning, it's the first line is a phrase. That's a phrase. Lift up. Lift up. So it's like each line just turns out to be a phrase. Isn't that nice? I guess. It's so lift up in the right hand between the phrases. Dynamics? Well, that's the melody. Left has to be really soft. It's hard to do on piano. You have to, you have to watch it. As you get lower on piano, it wants to get louder all by itself. It just wants to get louder. As you go up, it wants to get softer. And we have to work on that and account for it. So keep this left hand very soft. moderately soft. Let's get a little louder. Because now the right hand is going to be moderately loud. Whatever you think moderately loud is. It's not loud, it's sort of loud. The left hand is still soft. You're staying there until the end of the second line you come down. Well, on piano that goes away, it diminues, diminuendos automatically, just goes. The left hand, just keep it under it. Very soft. And then at measure 25, you're moderately loud again in the right hand. And then you go up a little, go up to loud. In the right hand. We're on the last two measures. Come down, start soft and gradually a little louder, a little. Now you're loud. The left hand is still soft. You can get a little louder with it, but keep the left hand in the background. And if you go up an octave, remember as you go up the keyboard, it, it tends to get softer. So you have to work on it. So make sure that's loud if you're going to do that. So it's. playing that whole page pretty much loud. At the end of the page you can come down, but it does that automatically. It dies away on its own. The left hand make it come down. Try and get each one softer. That's hard to do. Then at the top of page 69, you're still loud in the, in the right hand. Keep the left hand soft. Then a little softer than that, just sort of loud. Sort of soft. The left hand is very soft. Now soft in the right hand and very super duper soft in the left hand. Good luck with that. And then slow down and get softer if you can. How soft can you play? And don't use a soft pedal, that's cheating. Learn to do this with the hands. As you're doing this, start you can start stroking the keys a little bit. Rather than coming straight down, come down at a slight angle when you stroke it, it just takes time to get really, really soft. But all the time you're doing this, I want to hear that. As it's dying away, I want to hear that. Yeah, it's going to be hard to do because that note won't last very long. 
a speed wise well flowing jelly so flow jelly that's not the speed of the beat it's To me, it depends on this time of day it is and how much coffee I've had or how, just exactly how gently I'm going to flow, but that's it. Now, they've added pedal, and that's fine because we need the overtones. We want to color this because it's pretty dry the way it is now. We want to connect things. I, I like to connect these left-hand repeated notes. I, I need pedal to connect them. But I don't want it to get smeary, so we got to watch out because it can get really smeary. And they're keeping the pedaling simple for you. And that's fine, except you get used to that, hearing it. I don't want you to get used to hearing it. So I'm going to adjust the pedaling just a little bit. It's going to be overlapped, just like we've been doing, the lag pedaling. Where the notes go down first and then the pedal. And then each time I change the pedal, it'll be after I play the notes. So at the beginning, the notes first. And change them after I play the notes. Measure four. I'm not going to pedal the first beat. I don't want. I don't want both of those. So I'm not going to pedal until I play the D. There. So again, the first line. And again, when I get in the melody with a quarter note in the first beat, I just don't pedal that. I just, I don't want them both. and 18 I don't pedal well it's a style of pedaling called a legato pedal I don't pedal it except to connect the chords so in the left hand I'm going to push the pedal down right before I have to play the chord again and I'm going to release it all I'm doing is connecting the chords I'm not pedaling anything else I don't want to smear the quarter notes it's like I'm pedaling the last beat I guess Again, measure 25 is here. Pedal. Now here, measure 26 going on, there's a rest. I don't have to pedal that at all. Here. Pedal this. We want the overtones. We want the color here. And this comes in handy because now you've got a little bit of time to turn the page. Because you got to be able to turn the page without messing up the beat. Well, as you're doing this, turn the page right quick, if you can. If you can't, another way to do it is to you play that last measure in their left hand. So you go... If you can do that, you can use the right hand to turn the page. Because right immediately after you play the note, the chord, you, you can lift up, you, you reach up. Because the pedal will keep it down as you're doing this, turn the page. And that you got almost two measures to turn the page to keep going. Ideally, you memorize the piece, but most people don't. you got to do it. So find a way to get that page turned without messing up the beat. Then on measure 33, it's just pretty much the way they're showing. See, you hear on measure 36, I'm stuck pretty much pedaling here because I want to connect this so I'm pedaling it like they're showing there and then page 69 I'm pedaling it like they're showing there too that's fun
I'd like to play it with you very slowly to double check all the notes and rhythms and things. But because we have a page turn in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play pages 66 and 67. I'll count us in and we do those two pages. Then I'm going to stop. I'm going to turn the page. I'm going to count in again another three counts and then we'll do the rest of it. I'm not going to do any dynamics, just notes and rhythms. And I'll try and do the pedaling as I suggested. So I'll give us three counts. Let's just try it slowly together. One, ready, go. One, two, 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 three, two, three, three. Turn the page. One, ready, go. One, two.